Tell you what, she's looking a little bit messier than she was before there, horse. Yeah, we put some stuff in there, bro. <laughs> That's all right. It's going to get even fuller soon. Yeah. Look, we're going to be putting one of these bad boys in this time. Oh, yeah. Yep, so the wiring harness is in there, Bull. You and Jerome have actually, uh, give us a quick rundown on what you got done. So, Jerome was going ham on all sorts of wiring stuff that I don't really know much about. It actually frightens me a little bit. So <laughs> when we pulled this car apart over a decade ago, Jerome was there, actually, because he's an auto electrician he was actually probably still an apprentice back then actually or probably close to finishing anyway we removed all the fuse box and stuff from here all those years ago and and run it back through the car and we hadn't actually finished doing that job so we've we've started terminating getting power back to the fuse box to, to basically power up the whole car you know and started working on yeah battery relocation um, yeah, we had to modify this loom. I think we've done a little bit of filming on that maybe, but if not, I'll just touch on it. This loom was designed to go in a stock car board. Because I hate wiring so much, someone had a computer and a loom set up for a VS5 liter, was ready to go with a turbo on. I'm like, that's me. I don't need to wire nothing. Turns out I was wrong because I've changed my mind and there's no fuse box or nothing here, so we had to put it back in the car. Not ideal, but it, it'll do It'll do the job all right. And it is a nice wiring harness. Whoever oh, got yeah. it built spent a good lot of money yeah, on it. It's a, it, was, it was pretty. It was set up pretty nice, so yeah. I've modified it to suit what I need, and it should do the job just good. Yep. So, um, so just in a sort of a brief synopsis, like we've got the engine harness in, you got the uh, battery location done, and you also got power to your ECU. Just for the guys that probably aren't initiated, you're running a Link G4 Plus Extreme, is it? No, it's not a G4 Plus. It's just a G4 Extreme. It's a reasonably, yeah. it's an older model. It's probably, I think, at least two generations old now, but. Lucky for us, this engine was designed in the 60s. Exactly. And it's all super basic <laughs> stuff, mate. So you don't need anything crazy. Don't get me wrong. I love the tech stuff. And I want the latest and greatest. Yeah. But right now, I'm just not I'm just not there. I'm going to use what I've got and then have that as a platform to build upon, you know. Because at the end of the day, you know how it gets. Something new is always going to come out. And if you always want yeah. the latest and greatest... You know, sometimes Man, you, you end up. Oh, this is my th uh, second, I think, ECU setup I've had already. So I mean, you could go and buy a Holly Dominator today, but that doesn't mean that that's not going to be superseded tomorrow. Yeah, no, <laughs> I think this will work good, and um, we've got we've got some people around that know how to tune this stuff well, so it should work out all right. Yeah, sick. All right, well, let's get on to today's topic: the old mill mate. Yep. So we're going to put this lump in. What a beautiful thing. And it's going to look even more beautiful in that engine bay. I hope so. So in this uh, in this little installment, we're going to have the full drive line done, right? We're going to do engine gearbox, change over your diff as well? Yeah, quite possibly we'll change the diff. I've got a, I've got a fairly new diff to put in it as well. That needs a little, maybe a bit of a Dulux spruce up. But as far as the innards are concerned, it's all pretty much brand new. Yeah, true track, 3.27 to 1 diff yeah, ratio. Yeah, yeah. So, all the goodies. Yeah. So it'd be good to get that stuff in and then once that's all in uh, and Jerome comes back, we can continue on with the wiring stuff and, and hopefully get a get a start in possibly the next video. We'll oh, don't even tease me. My penis can only be so erect. <laughs> Alright bro, let's get stuck in. We've got a long night ahead of us. Yeah. Have you heard on Google these things are going for like 80 grand now? I've heard that they're a rip off. <laughs> they're way too much when you're dreaming. <laughs> and I can get one for cheaper and people that have them are floggers. 
<laughs> All these things could be true. <laughs> Keep coming down like that, we are Gucci, baby. You a little bit impressed? A little bit. There you get all fruit on there. That looks good. That's pure. Well, it has to be like that, doesn't it? Big crap. Just installing some Australian made billet parts, you know? You know how we do. That's it for the night, eh? Yeah, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's go. See you in the morning. I've got to interrupt this scheduled broadcast to tell you about our merch drop, guys. So, this one here, OG logo shirt, limited edition. There's only going to be one run of these, so make sure that you head over to the website. We've also got stickers, we got hats. This is our Talk Hub Stealth Leatherette cap. We've also got in the new logo hoodies as well as shirts. If you spend $150 or more, we'll upgrade you to express shipping for free. Make sure www.talkhub.com.au by 6 p.m. Friday the 3rd of December. That's where we call it. Pre-order only. Thanks, guys. Morning, mate. Hey. Morning, mate. Can't hear you, mate. <laughs>First roadblock of the morning. Yeah. So while we're underneath the car, we we're talking about putting the gearbox in. Kurt's had a look and noticed, I don't know if you can see it, but the floor is nicely yeah, cracked. I knew, I knew about this one, but I didn't know about this one up here. Yeah. So, while I the can get to free. this one without the transmission in, but I can't get to that one when it's, when it's in. So. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna drill the ends out on that crack. When I've tripped all this, um, sound deadener. Yeah, this all this uh, insulation stuff off. It's actually split it like, up, so it looks pretty bad now. Cause I can stick a screwdriver hole through it, but it was it was flush before. Oh dear. Oh, it doesn't matter. I just got to dolly it back flat. I'll drill the ends out and um, give it a weld. Weld that up and then yeah. So for those playing at home, what's the idea of uh, drilling a hole at the end of your crack? Um, it's supposed to help basically terminate the crack. Um, yeah, just gives it, basically gives it a round spot. Because otherwise, if you just weld into it, you, you never know if you've got the full lot and it could just start, continue to crack again or it could come back the other way. So if you sort of take it out, you've, you've um, stopped the stop the crack from propagating any further because you've given it like an even radius so there should you know by rights be nowhere where if there's any stress on it it sort of spreads it all the way around i mm -hmm. guess is the theory on it it's just just putting a full stop at the end of that sentence yeah it's um 
It's just an old trick that people have been doing forever. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. <laughs> Got him. Kurt finishes up fixing up the floor. Gave the old diff a quick rattle can resto. Come up pretty good actually. Leave that to dry and uh, hopefully we'll put the box in soon. Nice arps, bro. Put the Turbo 4 Honey in there. Woo! Oh, and the converter. Where's the converter? In the box. Yeah, boy. Mm. Oh, look at you. You're even wearing the shirt. That's cute. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, product placement. Sponsored, not sponsored. Yeah, definitely not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> We forgot to film an outro, but the next video's coming and the engine gets running too. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell because that would be really swell. We'll see you next time. Ooh, that's just beautiful, boy. What was that? I don't know. Damn boy. That scared shit out of me. That break anything.